One. Come on, Steve, you can do it. It's not affecting me. I'm not feeling it. <laughs> I can't even taste the cayenne peppers at all. Show the camera. I never looked so attractive in my life, dude. Oh! Wow, you look beautiful. Are you going to be able to, to finish the podcast with it in your butthole? Well, we're going to have to find out. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can just lay it down. It's just like the mental mind thing of eating a spider leg. Mr. Dojanger. This is legitimately insane. Are you straining? Heck yeah, I'm already straining. Ow! We turned thirty dollars into five hundred dollars in under thirty minutes. Did that count? Oh dang it! Okay. I'm not afraid of that. All right. Did you get it? Love the cheese. I have two beautiful sons, Bobby and Stephen Lee. Where did you get these? Don't worry about it. Hey man, we're putting them in the middle. It's anybody's game. I know, I know. <laughs> Cassidus! Keep going. One, two, three. <laughs> right, right foot red. Scissor Brothers. Yeah, at least yeah. This is between stuff. me and you. This isn't, you know. This is just a, a, me and you talking. Yeah, this is me and you talking. Don't wink like that. This is really just me and you talking. So yeah. So do you like the cheese or do you like this the movie? This is just me and you talking. Do you like the cheese or do you like the movie? <laughs> I'm a bigger fan of the cheese. I like that. I'm a bigger fan of Kraft cheese. So are you doing a Kraft commercial? Like, what are you doing right now? What do you mean? Are you doing a macaroni and cheese freaking commercial? Well, no, I'm not doing a yeah, mac and you're, cheese dude, commercial. Dude, 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 dude. Let's get into You think that we're sponsored by Kraft? We're not sponsored. <laughs> You think they were Kraft. sponsored by Kraft Macaroni and Cheese? We're not sponsored by Kraft. You wish we were, though, don't you? You know what? I do. I am a fan of macaroni and cheese. Now, can you ask me? Regular noodles, or do you like the cartoon ones like SpongeBob and different characters like Scooby Doo and stuff? I like the ones that you could get at Ralph's that are in the little uh, styrofoam cup thing. You just add hot water and the packet. Easy Mac. Easy Mac. You like things easy. Yeah. I don't like. I mean, especially when it has to do with cooking, because there's, you know, with with real legit cooking is preparation. I like cutting. I like difficult mac. Well, what's the difference? You know, you gotta go buy a pan. You gotta go boil water. No, it gotta, wasn't, no, it's the same shit. You're boiling the macaroni in hot water, and then you're just adding. But you need a pot and stuff for difficult mac. But it's the same. You get the same result though, don't you? Easy mac tastes, in my opinion, different than difficult mac. Are you just saying, like, wow. From the box versus how? the cup? It's the same it's ingredient. Just like, it's just like the ramen that comes in a cup versus the square. But they just, taste way different I'm just letting you know, Kraft makes both of them. Oh, I know. So they're using the same ingredients is all I'm saying. But it's a different process the way you're eating them. In what way? Like, Are you boiling your water with Easy Mac over a stove? All I know, I like you're the one... You do sink water, right? And then you heat it no, up no, the microwave. No, 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 We're editing the sink water part out. What? I absolutely well, not. Why I are you use bottled sink water? Hold up, I, I use... You use sink water? To boil things? You use sink water? Why are you treating me like this? I thought you were supposed to use bottled water. What do you mean? To boil stuff? Yeah, I use bottled. You know that if you boil it, it cleanses the water, right? It's a psychological thing for me. I need you to... boil bottled water. Yeah. You bougie girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I didn't... Uh, 
We're cutting that out. I'm not bougie. We're cutting that out. Dude, what happened? I thought we were frugal bros. I'm not bougie. You're a bougie bro, man. No, I'm not no bougie bro. You boil a bottle of water. You want to see my boxer shorts? I wear Hanes, my friend. What? Don't say that. We wear sheath underwear at yeah, all we're, times. Yeah, we're sheath. Anyway. <laughs> get Whoa. your get sheath today. Ooh. You know what? Do, they, gonna, do we need to get you more from them? Are you out? Yeah, sheath. <laughs> I got like two pair. Aren't you really? That's it? I got the blue and, and red and then the black and yellow. Hook a brother up. We do the best commercials well, for you guys. Dude, they'll send you more sheath. Sheath. We, you know, we we put out m- massive effort in our commercials, dude. We love come sheath. on. So no, ask me what I wear again. What do you wear? Huh? What kind? Of, what do you wear? I only wear sheath underwear. It's the best material. But he boils his bottled water. <laughs> okay. I kind of like this. job that man felt right that was pretty fun yeah that was fun and uh that was unplanned wait that, a second that that t-shirt had that much of an impact on me where i'm like whoa that's a cool shirt man this is from our pals over at meth syndicate one of my favorite t-shirt companies if not my favorite t-shirt and company go to in the entire world. Com slash oh, <laughs> they're not a sponsor they're just a friend meth syndicate on instagram check them out they've got a lot of funny shirts this is not Jumping the gun with those. Well, I know. Well, hold up. This is not written down, but I wanted to apologize because I've been. I don't like reading comments, but I know I have a tendency to cut people off. So maybe in the future, if I'm doing it here on this platform, you you kind of maybe wink twice with your right eyeball. Just go, Steve. You're cutting me off, like that or something like. Really? That. You want signals? I don't know why I do it, but it's not. Uh, it's not intentional. It's a, it's kind of like this um, tick that I do, you know, so. And that's not written on, you know, because, you know, we're being chronological here as far as, like, topics. But here's the thing. The, what okay. we wrote down is a backup in case we blank. 
You know what I mean? We're just going. Yeah, I know we're going. It just that just kind of popped into my head because I'm like, uh, you know, I don't like reading all the comments. Um, You're good, brother. Okay, you had a. I'm. Can I just say first of all? Everyone knows a man over my my head. head. You remember that song? Oh no, but um, I'm going along with it. (laughs) Um, you. I'm very proud of you because you. Yeah, you were on the lineup uh, at the comedy store, and it was a pretty heavy hitting uh, lineup, wasn't it? Oh yeah. Uh, can we talk about it? Yeah, it's fresh. It happened last night. Go ahead, take over. Uh, so it was kind of funny. I I told Steve that I was going to do a set. We were doing, we we're recording like some ad reads and stuff like that. And I was like, I got to be the the comedy store. Uh, I'm going up kind of earlier tonight at nine thirty. He's like, Oh, okay, cool. Who else is in the lineup? And then I told you who was in the lineup, and you go, oh, <laughs> oh. Heavy hitters. Heavy hitters. Scissor Brothers! Hey, man. What are you doing? Doing push-ups. Why are you doing push-ups? You know, just exercise. Don't you have shows coming up that you need to plug? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> January 21st through 22nd, Fort Wayne and in Indianapolis, Indiana. January 26th, San Diego. January 28th through 29th, Houston, Texas. And we're doing a live stand-up on the spot there. February 5th, Huntington Beach, California. At Stevie Weebke's Tony Guest Spot. February 11th through 12th, Des Moines, Iowa and Arnold Park, Iowa. February 25th through 26th, Arlington, Virginia. And March 3rd through 6th, Hawaii. Now let's... Talk about the Patreon. Go to patreon.com slash scissorbros for exclusive content. Join today. Hope to see you at one of Jeremiah's future shows or a Scissor Brothers live podcast in a town near you. And we got some new merch and stuff. And we love you guys. Let's get back into this episode of Scissor Bros right here, right now. You like, but the look you gave me, I was like, oh, should I be nervous about this? It was more that like... Was a, that, you gave me that strong of a look. I was like, I'm not nervous about this, but should I be nervous about this? I mean, there was... I mean, it couldn't get much heavier than what you had. To... <laughs> you know what? I was relieved because your time slot was good. Because you had That's a 9... Th- you were at 9.30. Yeah, so that was I'm a good like, one. Oh, once I knew what time you're going on, on I'm like, oh, okay, he's going to be good. Yeah. But still, like, so how did you handle that? that there was a little pressure there last night. There's pressure because... Um, there's pressure anytime uh, you get a an opportunity to kind of prove yourself among other comics who may not have seen you in a long time. Does that mean a lot to you? I mean, how much does that mean to you to get the respect of other comedians? It's pretty important long term in comedy. Tell me the reasons why. They're like coworkers, but it's also it's like. It's also people who, if you're right for something down the line and they have you in mind, then it's another opportunity for you to get more work and stuff. So it's not only like a, a, like a, a friendship level, you want to be respected by your peers, but it's also a professional thing too, where if you do well in front of certain people, they're naturally going to be like, you know what? I've got the perfect guy for this one project that I'm doing. Let's call Jeremiah. It's just some more like that. It's like positioning yourself where, you know, that you can even be in the running. It's hard to be even in the running. So even me being in that mix at the store, that took many years to get there. You know what I mean? Let's do the logistics. I mean, as far as ratios and how many comedians are in LA alone. Oh, I don't even know. I'm that. just saying, just think about that. And to be in that small jar of the elite of that caliber of that, in that jelly bean jar. I'm super, That's hard I'm super to grateful. even get there. Yeah, I'm super grateful. Now, can I... I might disagree with you. When you say coworkers, I think okay. Let's let's think about like Walmart, right? You so you're saying that these are your coworkers. That means you all have the Walmart shirts on, right? But isn't it more like you work at Walmart? This guy works at TJ Maxx. This guy works at Taco Bell. This guy works at Roundtable Pizza. It's like, isn't it kind of more like that? Uh, here's a way to put it. Let's say we all work at Walmart. Okay. So we're sticking with Walmart. Let's stick with Walmart. Okay, gotcha. I like that analogy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Stand-up comedy is like, we're all working at Walmart, but for whatever reason, for some people doing the exact same job, like they're getting paid six figures more than you. (laughs) Wait wait, wait a minute. (laughs) 
Oh, wait, hold because on. we're technically that. all doing the exact same thing, but the thing is, it's at different quality levels of uh, you know with stand up. For example, huh. last night Sebastian Maniscalco he brought up me. That Sebastian, the actor guy, the guy that's in the Martin Scorsese movies. Sebastian, that Sebastian, the, the guy, the, that, one that, the one that sells out Madison Square Garden, the guy that stuff. does arenas. Yeah, and you know he was in a Martin Scorsese. I'm just, I'm just letting you know. I've heard of his name. I, I know you. He have. was in a Martin freaking he, Scorsese. He's, movie. he's one of the biggest comics working right now. Continue. He brought me up last night, and then I got to bring up Andrew Santino, and then Santino brought up Bobby Lee. So it was just like an hour of just like it was just dope, man. It was just like cool. It was just a cool night. And before that, Mark Ellis, uh, who's a good buddy, he brought up uh, Sebastian. So it's like. And then Josh Wolf went on after Bobby Lee. Yeah. Like it was like a great lineup yeah. last night. How did did he bring you up nicely? I think in his way he brought me up nicely. What's his way? Um, it was nice to a point. I think he still needs me to you know earn my stripes around there. He's probably curious, honestly, why he was bringing me up in that time slot. It would it would. <laughs> It would have made more sense for me to bring him up. I brought him up for the first time in the main room last week. So he didn't really know your thing. Dude, he literally said. You do what he, how, do the wording he used. I'm you. Okay, this you're is Sebastian. loose. This is, well, I'm on the side of the stage. Oh, no, you're, you're yeah, you're peeking your head in from the back and you're kind of pacing and walking, waiting to go well, up. I'll, I'll be looking over, you know, not that you look at notes, but let's just say you're looking at your set. Right, the, right, right. And then so, you're Sebastian. Okay. This next guy coming to the stage, uh, gonna be honest, didn't do my research on him. I don't know his IMDb credits. Uh, nothing to disparage this next comic. He's great, you know, but I uh, don't know much about him. Saw this kid for the first time in a main room last week. And before that, before he said that, oh, before he, oh, this is painful for me to listen to. Before, before he went into that, the first thing he said, he looks over the piano. He goes, "Is there a uh, surprise pop in tonight?" And they go, "No." He goes, "So we're just going down the list." And uh, that's a pretty good Italian accent you got going on there. Oh, thank you, you remind me of like Fonzie. <laughs> Keep going. And they go, uh, "Kaylee Chase is on the uh, the key." She's like. No, we're just going by the line. And he goes, and that's nothing to take away from this next guy, but you know, the lore of the comedy store sometimes is, you know, you, you know, somebody might pop in. It's like huge or something, but this guy, you know, this next guy, you know, he's good. All right. Now can we do, oh my God, dude, this is, this is so painful. Dude, while this is going on. Oh, what's going on in your mind? Cause oh. you're trying to get your act together. Oh, I start laughing because I'm like, oh, this intro is the worst. No, I've had some really bad intros. Dude, to me though, from an outside point of view, that wasn't a good introduction. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I would have done. You know, this guy is one of the funniest guys I know, the hardest working comedian in the country. He was the voice for an animated series. Uh, he was the Joker's voice. He's been on several great shows. Please welcome, he's on a great podcast called The Scissor Brothers. Please welcome to the stage, the very funny and likable Comedian Jeremiah Watkins, everyone. Well, that's a very nice intro, but you know me. You know what I mean? He doesn't that's know. That's the way I would have well, done thank it. Well, you, thank you, brother. I appreciate that. Capish. Capish. Hey. So, uh, our buddy Andrew Nicholas, uh, he came with Dylan Fujioka last night. Shout out to my man Dylan Fujioka and Andrew Nicholas. What's up, our brother? We're showing them love every week. So, Andrew texted me after the fact. And he we he thought it was he he was like surprised by the intro. I was like, yeah, I just don't really know him like that. So it's like for me, I was like, I didn't really care because like he doesn't know me like that, so he doesn't owe me anything. You know what I mean? But when I'm in the back hearing all this, I start laughing because I'm like, oh. I'm like, oh, I have to do well now. I have to do well. Not that I not that I didn't have to before. But the fact that like this intro wasn't that like amazing, I was like, I have to do well. Wait, now. hold up. I got hold competitive. Your, hold, hold, I got your, competitive. hold your thought. Yeah. So are you telling me that <laughs> the introductions matter? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yes. It can help. See, I, that never crossed my it mind. It can I help. Th it can help 
keep the energy going or it can bring it to a halt where you have to completely reset the room. If, if an intro is bad enough, it can reset the room in a negative way. Really? Yeah, of course. Okay. Oh, this is so, so interesting. So when all that's going on, I'm in the back of the room. I start laughing. I start stretching. I go, okay. All right. I'm like that. I'm like, okay, I guess we're, we got to do this. Oh. You know what I mean? I'm like getting, I'm limbering up. I'm getting ready. And some other comics in the back saw me like being like, oh, he's like, he's about to try to go put in some work on the stage. And luckily it ended up being a good set. Oh my, I'm so proud of you. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot of pressure, man. It's a song. Yeah. So, so, but then he ended it with, he ended it nicely after all that. He did end it nicely. He goes, um, yeah, but this is nothing to take away from this guy. You know, I saw him for the first time in a main room last week and, uh, uh, I think he's got it. Oh, you didn't say that. That changes the story now. I know. Well, I'm finishing. So you-, <laughs> you do this thing all the time where you go, you didn't say that. I'm like, I didn't get to that part of the story yet. How could I even say it in any in, in any metaverse? Did I cut you off? No, <laughs> but is it something that you do where where I'll be telling a story and you go, well, you didn't tell me that. I'm like, I didn't get to that part of the story yet. Oh. <laughs> can Don't I, be hard on yourself. Can, I feel like I, you're getting a little hard on yourself tonight. Uh, a little bit. Are you in your head about something? Yeah. What's in your, What I can read you. What's, what's on your mind? Well, my living situation hasn't been the best. Oh, I know. I, I, I mean, I was with you the other night when this happened. Yeah, so I think there's uh, homeless people or squatters living in the house next door, and it's really close to my front door, so uh, I have a lot of fear. Well, so, okay, then that could have something to do with you being a little, like... <gasps> yeah. Well, last I night... I mean, you could vouch for me. Cause I you, was with you last night I when know, it happened. I know, so you heard that... Oh, go ahead, you, you, you take over. No, 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 I was just talking a lot. You go ahead. No, 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 I want you to. I want you to add to the what I said just I'll now. I'll happen when you. When okay, you tell so the story. we have we're doing ad reads. We're doing you know we're doing Patreon content, and then I was helping you carry stuff to your car. Right. And then it was the first time I had actually heard them talking. Up until that point, literally, can, can I just my hypothesis? The one of the dudes staked out the street, broke into the house, abandoned house next door. They're using this freaking generator. So at four in the morning, it's like. <laughs> for hours. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I'm just like, and it's like, this is driving me crazy. Continue. Add to it. We walk outside and the guy, what he says something like, Happy New Year. Yes. And we're, we both, I go like, kind of like this to Steve. Steve's eyes are this big looking at me. He's like. (laughs) Was he talking to us? Yes. He was talking to us over the fence. And and then, and then uh, as we walk away, he goes, hi, yeah, those guys are my neighbors. (laughs) All right. So. (laughs) Yeah, I, I contacted LAPD. Did they do anything? Nothing. Yeah. I wrote an email. I called the number. All the neighbors called. We we we, and they we, didn't do we hit up the management. Nothing. I didn't even Oh, I didn't even tell you something that was crazy that happened to me. I did an Eric and Griffin and Friends uh Flappers show. Okay. On the way there, car accident. My car got hit. No, you never told me that. I know. When did this happen? Um, Sunday. Did they hit the bumper? Mm-hmm. It was a big truck that, like... You could have been injured. <laughs> you should be my accident attorney. <laughs> no, I, that wouldn't work you out You could have been you. injured. Yeah. Come to Stevie Weeby's <laughs> yeah, accident. Yeah. Did 1-8- you get a no post 1-800-WEEBY. Does your nipples hurt for no reason? Come on down to, get, to Stevie Weeby's accident attorney uh, to general. Get representation today. Um, I'll tell you why... Okay, like, I understand times are rough, right? And I understand, you know, there's, uh, there's, uh, you know, tents everywhere in the city, but I think for this, it hits so close to home because it's literally right outside my door that it's there's more of a fear situation going into my head because, like, right now, I'm present here, but I'm also thinking of, are they breaking in? See, 
You know, got, I'm just I'm being honest with you. I got some, and I'm never I've never said this before, but I got some really good advice from Starbucks one time that I'm going to share with you when how I worked does, at Starbucks. Oh, I'm going to shut up because I'm the, dying to hear this. This is how this applies. They would tell us, and it's sometimes harsh to do this, to, to say this to your employees or whatever, but it's good advice. They go, when you come in this building, you leave everything at the door. That means, they said, if you're having issues at home, leave it at the door. If you're having problems in your personal life, you leave it at the door. Do not bring your problems into Starbucks. That was like an employee like training thing. I kind of like that. And no, I think it'll be good for Scissor Bros because here's the thing. When I do this show with you. Oh, I'm here. I'm here. I'm in a state of bliss, my friend. I am here with you, though. You know but that. But you just said that you were thinking about the other well, stuff. Well, because, but can I tell you, to, yeah. to, 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 in my defense, okay. um, when I left, I uh, turned on YouTube um, to uh, this just a, uh, this guy named David Wilcox. He's a, he's a UFO uh, researcher. Oh, he sounds I, like a magician. He, he, he probably is part-time. Okay. Um, a part-time magician? Part-time magician, part-time UFO <laughs> investigator or whatever, yeah. researcher. <laughs> this but, guy's a talented but guy. His, his seminars are like three hours long. Okay. So I turned um, my speaker on like pretty loud where it seems like there's people in my apartment talking, like there's a lecture. Okay. So that makes me feel better. <laughs> what does that have to do? No, because to do with it's it's I'm leaving. I'm when I'm leaving. I'm not. I'm making it seem like oh no, I'm not leaving. Uh, David Wilcox is in my apartment. He's giving a lecture. Yeah, you're misinterpret. You're misinterpreting what that quote means. What do you mean? You're interpreting it as leave everything at the door as when you leave. Like you want it to people to assume that you're still there. No, 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 no. You're misinterpreting what I just said. Whoa, I understand. Misinterpreting I no, 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 the no. misinterpretation. No, yeah, you're misinterpreting the misinterpretation. <laughs> okay. I understand what you said. Okay. Uh, to rephrase, you're saying when you when you're here at work or at this podcast, I want you hundred percent here. Right. Leave all that behind. You know that Metallica I song. I get that. I and get what you're saying. You know that Metallica song? Okay. And nothing else matters. You know that song? Yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, that one I do. Okay, that's what okay, I had yeah, to ask. Yeah, that one I do. There's a little... Um, ooh, you know what I noticed? What? There's no crickets. No, we're in wintertime, baby. And I put up the, the, the frequency things to drive them crazy. I did they're everywhere now you notice something that's that 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 caught your attention but outside my apartment too huh oh steve has a pet owl <laughs> there is a freaking Ooh. owl Ooh. in the middle Ooh. Uh, in the middle Ooh. of hollywood <laughs> a hollywood owl it talks too huh oh yeah we were Ooh. having a conversation yeah. When did you notice that? It was telling. It was telling me some stories about you. Ooh. 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 Yeah, a lot of that stuff. Ooh. Um, who, who you bring over late night? A lot of a lot of interesting details. Really? Oh yeah. Only thing I'm bringing back is a bags of groceries or In and Out Burger. My friend. You know what I think would be a really <laughs> really good challenge? Because I want to start doing um, psychological challenges too with you. I'm not the best with psychology. Well, hear, I like, I like, hear me out on this. Hear me go out ahead. This. More psychological with the punishments. Like loser can't eat in and out for a week or something like that. Stuff or a like loser that. has to French kiss you. you. <laughs> Terrence, I'm going to need your input on this. Oh, look at the deflection. Terrence. Or loser. Oh, I know we haven't talked to you. No, let let Terrence talk for a second. Steve wants to suck your sap. Really? Yes. It's a common practice amongst friends. All right. But don't suck too much sap. Otherwise, it will take over your life, scissor brother. Um, so I lost my tooth again. <laughs> Wait, what? How do you lose it again? How do you, Steve? That's why I've been, Steve. you know, it's been a rough day, man. I, hold up. It's been a real rough day for me, man. Because <laughs> let me tell you something. <laughs> it was hard enough that I lost my tooth. 
when we were going to the gig in Pennsylvania. Shout out, shout out to uh, Soul Joel's again. We had a blast. We had a great time. We really shout hope you guys Joel's. enjoyed. Who's the guy that picked us up? We hope Dan Callahan. The kid, the guy with the car. That was Dan, right? Shout out to Dan. Um, dude, I mean, we had such a good time. We hope you enjoyed that live episode. We put a lot of love into that to make oh, that yeah, happen. Yeah, that was a great trip. How great about? Trip. Can I give you some props? You were so nice to me on that show. And I didn't mean to just deflect it, but like I, I'm bad at taking compliments sometimes. I want to commend you for the beat that you produced. For he's a silent producer, like he has a connection, I guess, to Corian Loco and Shanks. I, I, you know, I keep trying to get a hold of Shanks. I can't, but he's a silent producer on that track. He, he's like, dude, Dr. Dre over here. I loved that track. Like I said, you know, I didn't realize that. Oh, I could add m- musical stuff to this part. I, di- I didn't know why it didn't click for so long. Yeah. Because the way I was looking at this, oh, we, we kind of do music for fun. But as I mean, we're close to what, 50 episodes by now. So I'm just like, oh, well, he keeps writing songs. And he, you've, you've, you've hinted in the past, like, you know, you'd be at my apartment and, and like, you know, my samplers are there. You're like, uh, yeah, you should make some more beats, man, for the. And I'm like, oh, OK. But I didn't really click. OK. But then I'm like, you know. I'm like, well, I, 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 I've made beats for many, many years, and I have on multiple yeah, albums. Yeah, dude. and I have different machines that could loop, and you know. Yeah, you're great. It's at like it. a I, thank you. I, you know, for me, it's kind of like a, it's just like a, a you know, like a painting or something or yeah. skateboard. Is it's is like it a relaxing clock. in some ways? Yeah, the reason why I like it is because um, you're forced to sit there and. Cause, Cause, there's two different ways of the way I make beats. I I, I wouldn't do this for Scissor Bros because of uh, copyright purposes, but like sampling, I usually yeah. just sample. But the thing is, I sample in kind of more of a obscure way. I don't like. I wouldn't sample like a Michael Jackson song or anything. You know? Right. I w- I would sample something like from like nineteen sixty two or something like right, something right. some rare thing that you know. So yeah. um. Yeah, it's a collage, and to be honest with you, what the end result is, is not planned. What I get is what I get. Oh, that's cool. So sometimes I've sat there for like 10 hours. I'm just sitting there, then I'll go get a drink. Just well, you there. told me how long you worked on that beat, so I appreciate that. Yeah, no, I pre- yeah, yeah, so that's no problem. I mean, I could, I, yeah, I could I could do those all day, yeah. I really? Could, yeah, I could do those. I similar. loved it. Yeah. I, I hope, I hope yeah. that they do more. Oh, you know, I will. I will. Now yeah. that you bring it up, I will. Um, yeah. But my tooth... Um, Dude, please tell me anything and all the details about this i i had it in my um hoodie in my left pocket of my hoodie Mm -hmm. and then i placed it on my um nightstand why not the pillow i know i should have done the pillow that's why i messed up i put it on the nightstand and then i remember eating a whole thing of uh pringles and then next thing you know, I was looking for it one day, and I searched uh, everywhere. Uh, I, I put the bed to the side. What if you swallowed it? No, because I what was- What if you swallowed it, and then you go to the restroom, and then the worm is holding it, like when you look at- <laughs> All right, I hope no one makes a t-shirt out of that <laughs> idea. Um, a worm holding your tooth? Yeah, but the thing is, I wouldn't have done that because I was looking at it like, um, like a like an ancient mummified artifact. I was like, oh, there's like decay, like oh, there's like, like why is there a fossil in or there? Or like there's tar. Like, yeah, I didn't know a tooth could have tar pieces in it. You know, it looked like it looked like the amber in Jurassic Park. Yeah, that the, that the old man has the cane of. Yeah, just very deteriorated. And has a mosquito um, fossilized in there. Yeah, look like yeah, something like that. And I was just and I was uh I was smelling it. I don't know why I kept smelling well, it. Well, you like weird smells. We've discussed this. We know this about you. So, I was very uh I felt like I lost like a part of me. It was a part of me, but I felt like, "Oh, I really wanted that tooth." Were you going to make a like a necklace out of it? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know, you know, like a. Sh- see what, can I ask Gerald? Yeah, of course. Uh, Gerald, oh, wait, hold up, man. I'm talking to Gerald. You're joking, Gerald, man. what are your thoughts on my tooth? And the second question, Gerald, is where do you think my tooth is right now? 
I think we're all concerned about you, dude. You gotta go to a fucking dentist. And I think your tooth is in some chick's ass for a flashlight or some shit. Oh, thank you, Gerald. Ew. Yeah. Yeah, you know how people make shark tooth necklaces? Dude, that's such a great dude, idea. Dude, I'd buy a Stevie tooth necklace. Oh, or a tattoo of my tooth right here. Like uh, Takashi 6 9 you, What would it look like, though? What shape would that be? Well, this shape was very interesting. It, it was sharp a, when I saw it. It was fossilized. It was concave, but then it had like a scorpion stinger. Yeah, it had like thing. a spiral yeah, staircase it had like going, a, oh, going a the sharp back. piece to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a like a scorpion stinger. <laughs> yeah. So you you know what the thing about you you pay attention to detail. That's, I try. No, because you that was like such a specific thing you remembered. How sharp it was. Yeah, the two like. No one else. I showed the tooth to how many people that night? Well, I'm surprised you got it through airport security. <laughs> Another home run on the ballpark. <laughs> dude, those are some great ideas. The, dude, I would make a necklace out of that tooth for real. All right. Well, when the rest of your teeth fall out, we'll make a necklace. I'm, sorry. I'm not going to even say it. It's just what am I doing right here? Uh, sorry. No, it's fine. <gasps> Will you go to the dentist with me? <laughs> Come on. Seriously, dude. As your friend and your brother, seriously. We'll make a challenge of it or whatever. We'll get content out of it, dude. Please. I don't you want to go to the dentist. I don't office want you to get me? an infection. I'm seriously worried about you. I'm like not even joking. I'm seriously like because your tooth fell out. I'm seriously worried about. It's not just me. It runs in my family, dude. I understand that, dude. Do you know my brother has maybe eight teeth left? Scissor Brothers. Yo, Turk, stretch me out, brother. Oh, yeah. Ooh, you need Come some on, stretching. You right? ready to run 100 miles? Dude, I'm ready to run 200 kilometers righteous, if that's what you're man, asking, righteous. dude. I'm really proud of you. You're looking real clean and fresh in your headwear from yeah, well, headwear to footwear. Yeah, well, I have some of the best to... athletics on right now, Garrett. Oh, yeah? What yeah. are you wearing? Endeavor. Did you say Endeavor? That's what I said. Huh. This episode is brought to you by Endeavor Athletic. athletic. Endeavor creates small batch craft athletic apparel made in the U.S. and Europe. With years of research and performance testing behind each design, every garment is guaranteed to exceed all performance expectations. If you're tired or of adjusting, tugging, or pulling at your clothes mid-workout because they just can't keep up with you, there's finally athletic wear you can count on, Garrett. With high-performance fabrics and unique cuts, these pieces are great for running, cycling, yoga, lifting, and more. You don't give up when the reps get hard and your performance gear shouldn't either. My personal favorites from the brand are the Liberty Performance Tees. That's what I'm wearing right there here, dude. There you go. In fact, we've been wearing my training shorts for my yoga every other day, and it would be and it would be every day if I got around to doing some more laundry. They're that good. You can save 15% off all at checkout using code SCISSORBROS. That's, That's SCISSORBROS at EndeavorAthletic.com. E-N-D-E-A-V-O-R Athletic.com. Are you going to ask me what I'm wearing, Garrett? Yeah, what are you rocking, this brother? This is the Trizar Thermal Crew Neck. Dude. Feel the material, brother. Do you know what I like about it? What? It's warm, so you can sweat in it, but it'll also roll right, it'll roll right, it'll roll right off. And you could also hike, run, or cycle in these. Dude, that sounds Fine pretty garments. sick. Are you wearing Endeavor pants as yeah, well? Yeah, these are Endeavor pants, the training pants. And you're wearing these awesome Endeavor shorts. Dude, what they you even got a those? stripe just in case you get hit by a car in the middle of the night. And you can run at night, can't you? Yeah, you won't get hit in cars with these. And you won't get hit like a coyote. Go to EndeavorAthletic.com uh, today. EndeavorAthletic.com today. It got so it got out of my reach when I was reading. I was. Like, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Yo, what you hitting on? Man, I just hit this with a freeze pipe. With a freeze pipe, boys, just trying to make it. With the freeze pipe, boys, just trying to make it. Oh, man. it's your pal Skeeter from the island, Catalina Island. Bra, bra. And it's your boy. 
Cheers. <laughs> and this episode is brought to you by Caesar Bros. That's right, man. Woo, this stuff is awesome because uh, I feel like um, it's Christmas morning and uh, I'm smoking snow in a bong, dude. <laughs> well, it's a nice, cool feeling in the back of your throat because sometimes you hit the weed and it's a little bit too hot and you feel like smoke from the whole back. Oh, yeah, bro. And it, it, your throat will thank you, brother. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it feels so cool, bro. Thank you every time. Thank oh, you, thank yeah. you, thank <laughs> you. Thank so you, thank high you. Right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, I re- Oh man. But yeah, this is the best stuff, man. Freeze pipe. Like uh, how good we talking right here. Well, I didn't tell you it comes with a detachable chamber, bro. Are you serial? Yeah, it, you, you freeze it beforehand. That's mad gnarly. <laughs> yeah, let me hit it again. <laughs> wow, it's like a magic <laughs> trick. The freeze oh, pipe up his sleeve. He's like some kind of stoner magician. Oh, it feels fantastic, bro. Yo, you need to go to thefreezepipe.com. And use code SCISSORBROS to save 10% off your first, off your first order. order today. Get your bong pipe or, or bubbler, bubbler today. today. That's thefreezepipe.com and, and pressing code, code SCISSORBROS Scissor to, to save 10%, 10% off. If you can smoke from it, freeze pipe makes, makes it. it. With a freeze pipe, boys. What's wrong with your throw, man? Oh, I feel great. This is just the way I talk, bro. Okay. Yeah, I was raised in the ocean surfing, bro. Oh, that's nice. I'm a surfer. You know that, right? Yeah, you know I'm from the island, Catalina, yeah. Yeah, you're my brother. Freeze pipe. Freeze pipe. Put in code scissor, bro. Feels good on the throw. <laughs> I may have. I. Do you want to count how I'm missing? Okay. Can we do scissors while you count your teeth, and we'll do as many scissors I'm as missing you have teeth? Si- I'm missing six teeth. Let's do six. Let's do six scissors for those missing teeth right now. Okay, that's but a good slow, idea. But slow, like concentrated ones to but hopefully build up no, calcium no, no, and make them sprout back. You can't just back. do regular scissors. You have to do the the, the, the jet, sharp, pointy the sharp, ones. Like this is my tooth. Yeah, these are the teeth. So uh, if you're at home, do this the, is a tooth scissors. The saber tooth scorpion oh, maybe tail. Like this. Like this? Yeah, like cross them like this. Okay. Ready? Okay, so do your scorpion tail tooth scissors. Five, four, four three, three, two, one. one. Make this. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Slower. Three. Five. Six. Seven. Oh, we did more than six. Oh, okay. We have to do it again. Okay, we'll just do six this time. Okay, just do six. Alright. I like the slurping thing. Six. I like the slurping thing you're doing. Okay. Yeah. Probably the audio listeners don't, but that's okay. That's fine. It is what it is. Um it is what it is. You had another story um about my brother. You saw him at the store. Something happened. Oh, this yeah. is just something silly that happened last night. Um, I like to hear about it. I like all your stories. You do? Yeah, because I'm not hang out there. All, I don't go right. to the store and hang out all the time. Like um, brought up Santino. Santino crushed. Then your brother crushed. It was like... It was a crush city. It, it was, was crush a city. good night of comedy at okay. the comedy store. Yeah. Um, before Bob went on, I go, Hey, Bob, you know, uh, you know our episode just came out. Um Maybe you want to repost just a story? And he goes, let me tell you something, man. I love I love when you do this. Let me tell you something, man. I don't even promote my own podcast, man. I don't even I don't even do that. So why would I promote your podcast, huh? Why would I do that, man? Hmm? I refuse. No. 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 Wow, well, what but Bob, what what about if like you know, I do a story right now, right here. And then like, I'm with repost. Bobby and like, you're just with me. He goes, no, man, I did enough. <laughs> uh, you know what? That, that was so very accurate the way you, t- I mean, you, that's, that's no bullshit. Cause on my end, I hit him up probably more than you hit him up. I called him up. I sent text messages. And then what you just did there, 
I already heard it in my head. I'm like, nah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did you guys a favor, dude. Right, right, right. It's done. Aren't you excited? Daddy doesn't do that. Aren't you excited for the day that we do him a favor? Oh, that's gonna be a good day, buddy. Watch what you're doing. That's you do. oh, gonna be no. a you good day. You gotta watch your words there. Good day. That's gonna be a good day. The Scissor Brothers and siblings are underdogs now, but we're gonna work our way to the top of the mountain. mountain. And right we're now, gonna be we're... looking down on the. How about we be more lateral? Or we rise to the same <laughs> ridge as them. So we're all equal. Dude, we're frugal bros right now. We might turn into bougie bros. What? Moody what? Bougie bros. No, nah, I don't think I'll ever be bougie. No, I don't think so either. We're not going to be bougie. No, we'll still get Kraft macaroni and cheese. Yeah, we'll buy. We'll st- we'll forever buy groceries. I think. Well, we're we're never gonna have like a butler and a, a cook. Hey, man. Wait. You cooked this wrong. Wait. You wouldn't have a butler if you had that kind of crazy money. Are you sure Let's about that? Let's do this. You want to play this? Yeah, yeah. You brought Are it you up. Sure about that? Okay. So, at, what would you do if you had five million dollars right now? And then you ask me. You answer it first. Though. If I had five million dollars, F- five million. A personal assistant would be the first thing. After I buy my mama house, and that's a goddamn truth. After I buy my mama house, that's it would me be a too. Personal yeah, assistant. I buy my mama house. Yeah, like outside of Arizona, yeah. like whether San Diego. if she wanted a car or a house or paying off her house, whatever yeah, it was. Okay. So you know your what I mean? family first. Yeah, we both agree on that. Oh, for sure. Number we'll, we'll go, number two. Number two would be personal assistant, probably. Okay. Obviously th- taking care of my immediate family, my wife and my baby, you know, they get the number two slot. Then, you know, number three, personal I like that, assistant. buddy. You're a good I'm man. I'm last. I'm last. You're a good man. Keep going. That's it. Leave that stuff at home. I'm trying we to silence record- it. I'm we sorry. We are recording a uh, podcast. See, this is hypocritical of him. I'm usually he did having a whole silent, speech dude. about Steve when you're here. I'm I need, usually having a silent. Steve, when you're here, I need 100% of you. You leave that stuff at home. I did home. not say and that. And look what happened, man. Do-do-do-do. His phone is going off. I silenced He's doing it some with shit. my left nah, nah. finger. Hypocritical. Hypocritical. I'm just kidding. That's like a Bowie song. Keep going. Hypocritical. But Billy like, actually play chord, some chords. Steve, Hip- <laughs> play some chords though. It won't play. Hypocritical. You know how to play chords. Silence. Okay, so well, number four. Number you won't four. play chords for me? Number four. Just play a chord. I want to I wanna be a part of the... I want to answer my answer. You didn't ask me what I would do. That's always what it's about. No, it's about both of us, but... No, yeah. You ask me I, questions, so then you go... Well, no, but... Like, no, but... But what about me? It's 50-50, though. We both have to contribute to I the conversation. Know. I know. You don't want to know. I want to know. Well, what are my answers? Steve, what would you do with $5 million? I would buy a... Toyota Corolla. No. Are you serious? <sighs> yeah. A Toyota Corolla. If you had $5 million. I'd buy a Toyota Corolla. What year? 2020. Not even a 2022? <laughs> frugal bros are in the house tonight. <laughs> pew, 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 We're the frugal pew, pew. brothers. We won't spend a penny. <laughs> We make five million dollars and we don't spend a penny. I'll, I'll buy the nicer rice. <laughs> I'll buy the nicer kimchi. What's, what's the nicer rice? It's the one, the Asian brand that I can't afford. How expensive Either is that Japanese. rice? How is it like an expensive jasmine rice? It's it's a type of jasmine rice. Yeah. I use the one I buy like just the cheap whatever you get, whatever whatever's you, on sale. You get Uncle whatever's Ben. Whatever's on sale. I don't get Uncle Ben's. I get the the uh, one the. Do the, you get Zatarains? Zatarains. Do y'all remember Zatarains? Zatarains rice and beans. Zatarains. Do you remember that? 
No. You don't remember Zatarans? I don't remember I, what you did. I don't know what you just did right now. No. I remember rice. Zatarans. Aroni. The San Francisco treat. A rice. Aroni. The San Francisco treat. Yeah, I remember that. So it's kind of like what a mid, mid, mid grade. No, nah, I don't mess. I don't. I don't mess with box. It's got to be in a bag. It's got to be in a bag. Okay, a you, bag. And then I would buy more. I would just. I would buy more quality you groceries. Go, you go bag over box. Bag. Yeah. Mm. I buy more quality groceries. I mean, that would be fun. I'd probably get a new Xbox, like the newest Xbox. Really? Yeah. I get that. I get a car. See, that's more what I'm thinking. And you know what? For you. I think I that you'd want to move. I, although I do like living where I do live, I would probably definitely upgrade to like, if I had five million, I I could probably I probably like live in like a condo or something. Like you know, like just a one bedroom condo, but it has to have a washer and dryer. Dude, so I think you're gonna get all that stuff way before five million dollars. Really? Yeah, absolutely. A con? No. Did you hear what I just said? A condominium. I listen to everything you say. A condominium. I listen to everything a you say. A condo. I listen to everything you say. And you're saying I could get get that before five million? Yeah. Okay, I like mm. that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good vibes tonight, man. Real good vibes. Mm, right? Good. You know what I like tonight? Because I ate before I came. Mm. Can you start doing that? <laughs> I... I don't like it on the pod. Can I tell you? I don't like it on the pod when you go. Let it out. Let it out. Let when, it out right now. Let the viewers know. When you go, you go, come on, I haven't eaten yet. <laughs> or you go, or or you go, come on, don't you have to get to your show? I'm like, leave it at the door. I'm not thinking about my show right now. Or, or The way or, you and my brother <laughs> impersonate me are like dead on. Because he was doing a bit. Wait, this is... A, no, I don't want to ruin it. I'm not going to ruin it. I don't want to ruin the... But the way you just did me and the way he does me, they're very similar. Right. It, do I sound like this eager gremlin? Come on, dude. Sometimes. Hurry up, man. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> I do that. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I want Taco Bell, dude. Yeah, I mean, you do this on the challenges sometimes, too. Yeah. You go, can we hurry up? <laughs> no. And I'm like, dude, what... Why are we hurrying? This is literally... We're doing the show. But my voice changes like that. Guys, come on. <laughs> I'm like, Steve, where is this coming oh. from? So my voice fluctuates like that. Yeah. Come on, dude. Let's yeah. get it going. And then you're like, you're <laughs> cheating. I'm like, all right. All right. All right, dude. Easy. I apologize. You know. Tell I me. Did. Tell me. I apologize. No, 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 no. no. I'm not going to be the only one who says, like, I said a couple things. That's I said fine, a, but you're honest about it. This is good it. for and us. I know that. I know this I do that. This is good for us. And I do, I do that. So you tell me a couple things that you're like, mm, that, ir that irks me a little bit when about you? Yeah, when I do it on the show. And you can't be like, no, there's not anything. Because I know for a fact. Because we talk a lot after the shows. I know they're a, for a fact. I know the rehearsal thing. That sometimes that get, that bugs you. You're not even letting me answer the question. <laughs> you're beating me to the punch. Okay, I, go ahead. I, I can't. You're putting me on the spot, though. The thing about you, because because I have to be honest. You know why this is working out? And I'll what? be completely honest. What? We are like the yin and the yang. We really are. Because somebody should Photoshop <laughs> the yin and the yang with our heads and the little dots. But let me finish That's my thought. That's a good scissor brochure. But shirt. let me finish my thought. Okay. You and I and I gave you props during our live show. It was, and I it was meant too nice. and I meant what it was, I said. It was too nice. You are like the energizer bunny. And who are you? A snail. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Really? And so lately, and I'm glad, and I'm going to say this because I want to be honest with you. Because it's kind of like, sometimes I feel like, <laughs> wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's say you're the bunny, right? You're the bunny, right? Yeah. You're like, come on. And you're like, I'm back by there. I'm like way behind your like, <laughs> like this. You're like this. Steve, come on. You, you need to, you need to catch up. But you forget, but you forget to, that I'm a snail. I'm, I'm like, I already, I'm used to moving like just like, you're like, you but, know, you're like, but and Steve, then I'm, I'm used to, this is the way I move. Your movement's like this, you're running. My movement's like this. Steve. It's like a slow swim. But what do we all know? Slow swim. Snails cocoon into butterflies. <laughs> we all know that. 
and you're blossoming into a beautiful will you stop butterfly. that you are really yes oh man can i tell you hey i was your honest with you i was honest with you your just work now ethic, that was that was 100 percent i'm gonna be honest right with you that was honest your work ethic that was honest from the beginning of the podcast to now has exponentially gotten better and better really i'm serious dude really i'm serious you mean that yeah you check in with me more like hey what can i do this week that helps me a lot i like what you're doing can you keep going yeah like when you <laughs> when you reach out to me you're like hey do you need help with the song i'm like actually i do yeah because yeah i'm editing this other thing right that'd be great you, you know why hmm. i'm all about communication now. that's why this works we communicated a lot before I'm the show even started. I'm just letting y'all know, we had our own, just me and you talking before the camp. We talked like about stuff before this too. Yeah, for like an and, hour. Yeah, for like an hour. Yeah. So that, I, it makes me feel better. I think you feel better at the end of it. Yeah. Because I let it out. Because I, I have these thoughts and I, I, think, want it, I want it to be known, Steve, no, that's inaccurate. That's not true. Or you're thinking of that incorrectly. Right. I need to hear that. I think also you and I have scotch OCD. We do a scotch. You know we do. Just a scotch. Are we really on the spectrum? Though I don't. I still don't believe those that. are different things. Okay, what are the different? <laughs> hold up. No, but what are the differences? No, no. I, I I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to learn. No, I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to learn. No, I'm trying to learn. I can't get into this. I can't get into this. But but you you mentioned oh, you said OCD. Yeah. I just do things in threes. Well, that's OCD. No, that's a my thing. Well, you can call it. Well, yeah, you can call that a my thing, but other people call it OCD. No, it's not. That's not hurting anyone. OCD doesn't hurt other people. Oh, so it's just compulsive. To, I know it. It's just I a know disorder. the technical term, yeah. but what do you do? You don't do OCD. Do you want to do an OCD dance break? Yeah. Yeah, you do. But we have to do it in threes. I know we do. Anything in threes? Anything in threes. You have to do movements in threes. Okay. So it could be one, two, three. 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 One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Are you having OCD with us? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Hopefully you join in at home. One, two, three. All right. That was cool. Yeah. All right. Was that weird? Is there anything else that that I do that you're like, that's a little irky sometimes. Irky jerky. Um Think about it. The rehearsal is it no, just because a lot of the things you do is they're positive. For th us, th th they're positive things that like a like a um like an inspired uh, kind of like go getting like successful person. Like these qualities is like will make a person successful in life. Oh. So they're not bad things. <laughs> All but, of these are actually good traits that you do. But they're just annoying. It, no, they're not annoying. It it it, it it's more because when I see you do doing like that much more, then I I look in the mirror and go, oh, I'm not doing. I'm not doing. I should be working harder. You know? Okay, let's get into your other thing. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't want you to be self-deprecating. No, 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 no. It's not self-deprecating. No, it's but the, but in a way, let, let me spin it on a more positive note. But it's like, I feel like a person like you in my life, you're setting a good example. Like, oh, like, yeah, yeah. You should be more like that. You know, opposed to like, you know how like sometimes like you're a reflection on like the three people of your homies that you hang out with yeah. all the time. It's like, like. Lately, I surround myself with just like people that are like creative or they're productive. That's the word I'm using, produ productive. Sure. And that's why I think a lot of that, and you said it, it is rubbing off on me. Yeah. Nice. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Yeah. Let's bring up the other thing. Because I know this is on your mind. So in um, 
Pennsylvania, when we're, I think we're set, I'll set up the merch table. Oh, we're setting up. We're setting up for the show. We're, yeah, we're setting up. And I go, and then you said something. Yeah, man, if we keep doing this, man, we could go to other places or like we could take this like further. And I go, and I said, oh, yeah, maybe we can even go to Hawaii. Take Scissor Bros Live to Hawaii. And then, and then you kind of paused and looked at me and you're like, Oh, that's actually a good idea. I'm like, all right. And then do, 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 you know, we did that whole thing. Right, right. And then um, last night, <laughs> you came over. We did we did commercials, ad reads, <laughs> and we did commercials for your upcoming dates, your road dates. <laughs> and so you're like, yeah, um, yeah, uh, Nashville, I'll come see you uh, uh, January 29th, uh, February 15th, I'll be right there in uh, Florida. And then the very last date, you're like, in Hawaii. I'll be in I'll be in Hawaii for Jeremiah Wonders. There, I'm doing stand up dates stand up in, in Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah, yeah. And then so, <laughs> when you said that, I just like I was like, I I was like, what the hell? Steve almost red zone probably. No, I didn't red zone. It's like I was just such in disbelief because my mind was like, did you feel like I was a traitor? No, no. I thought that maybe that you took this that, that Scissor idea? Brothers idea, but then you implemented it for like a. Your, just my stand-up like you show? Hit up your, your agent like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you book me a... Uh, yeah, why, hey, book see, me book me in Hawaii uh, right away. I had a great idea for my pal, Stevie Weeby. He said, Hawaii is the bee's knees. <laughs> but then clarify the reality of it. The reality is, is I had... The reason I paused, I was like, that's... It was because it was an interesting intersection like the Matrix, like a deja vu kind of thing. Because It was just coincidence. I'd, it was coincidence. I had already been... In the process of almost locking down a gig in Hawaii. So when Steve said that, I was like, that's kind of weird. He said Hawaii of all places. But and, you didn't. But you it didn't, wasn't locked in yet. It wasn't locked in. The, so I didn't you, know. But the thing, you didn't say anything. That's why I paused. I was like, huh, interesting. Oh, see, I wish I would have known what you're thinking. Like, right. That I didn't know that was happening. I'll let you inside my mind for a day, okay? <laughs> No, no, I'm not You'll saying... You'll be the little guy from Men in Black. And like, <laughs> or like Inner Space with Martin yeah, Short. Yeah. Do you remember that movie Inner Space with yeah. Martin Short stuck, stuck in the butt? Yeah. Okay, so that that stuff was going on already. So It was in the motion. Dude, but clar- clarify. You're, this, you were setting this. You were planning Hawaii. I met the booker of this gig a year ago in Sacramento. And she we she had been talking with me about the right time to do it, like after the pandemic or if this pandemic, when it ends or whatever. And... We decided on March third through sixth. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but i you know what? But the timing was just funny. It the was timing. Funny. That it was, was really weird. Really weird. Really weird. When you say, I mean, so it's understandable why I would be like, what? Yeah. We just talked about. Well, if uh, if my huh? wife wasn't going, you'd be no, going. I'm with not me. saying that. No, I'm just I'm, saying. No, 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 no. That cause you've, we, you know, you don't have to. I mean, we already have that understanding. I'm just saying. I was thinking of it more like, uh, I thought. Doing that for Scissor Bros. <laughs> so when, when you said reading, it one time, well, well, when you're reading the dates, like the, that's the last like, thing we said. And then I'll be in Hawaii, and, and then I'm like, standing right next to you with a cross-eyed, like, doo, doo. <laughs> doo, doo. that's that's my idea. <laughs> I thought of Hawaii. <laughs> you're not allowed to go there. I just thought of it. <laughs> no, 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 I, oh, we edit that out. <laughs> We gotta get into the challenge, buddy. Well, you're having a good time talking. I'm having a great time. Okay. Um. But yeah, let's. We should go into it. The challenge. Yeah. Let's get so, into it. Well, this is your. This Can is I your, present? This is your week. Okay. So this is a simple one, but I think it's gonna be a lot of fun, cause uh, just going off of the reception of of how people, how much they liked the 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 laughing competition, the you lose if you laugh, you know. This one is one that will take you back to childhood. And this one, if you remember, it's a slapping game. It's a hover hand. Oh, I thought like slap. No, not oh, across no, the this, face. Oh, the slap. Right. Hands. Oh. Slapping on the hands. Right. Okay? We're going to go to 10. Okay. okay. We're going to go to 10. So how do you how do you do the scoring system? This is the score. <clears throat> if you slap the other person, that's a point for you. Now, if you flinch... If you make the other person flinch, they move before you before you turn your hands at all. If if you're just you know what I mean. If you, yeah. If they back up, that's a point for you. We're playing to ten. Okay. Can I? I'm I I'm hearing you loud yeah. and clear. Yeah. These are my concerns. What? My hands are smaller than yours. 
Oh my goodness. So, no, I'm just, this is a real thing, man. So, just, like, go like this. Show the camera how big your hand is. Well, here's the thing. No, because no, your no, hands could I be won't. covering, you could, like, literally, you'll know when I'm trying to, it's like letting the little um, mongoose out of the hole. You'll be like, yeah, I know when you're about to go. Let me respond with this. Your hands are harder to hit than mine because they're smaller. Boom! Same thing. Meet us in the middle, folks. Meet us in the middle, baby. Okay, wait, wait. Finish it. First one to ten. First one to ten. If wins. you flinch, you lose a point. Yeah. If you hit, you, and then we. If you hit, you get a point. Yeah. We're playing to it ten. It alter, It alternates on people. Are we going to be sitting down well, or standing actually, up? Are you, we standing up? We're. We. You alternate until you get a miss, or you stay on the same person until you get a miss. So you can rack up points. Yes, yeah, like Uno. Yeah, you could do ten in a row if you're if you're good. And you at could this. just kill it and keep going and kill it and just. Oh beat. wait, my neck. This is a technical question. Are we gonna be standing up or sitting down? We'll be sitting down. On the stools. Yeah, unless you want to stand. Uh, I want to sit down. Let's sit down. Okay. And then here's the punishment. This is a gluttony punishment. What do you mean by that? Gluttony is one of the seven sins. The person who loses has to eat all four of these beautiful cupcakes. Can I take a look at them? Uh, what kind are they? A lot. Uh, man, I'll have a hard time eating one of those things. Uh, that's a gluttony punishment challenge. You have to eat all four of them I if you lose. I have to eat all four cupcakes? Or I have to eat all four cupcakes if I lose. You have milk? Now you want milk? I mean soy milk. <laughs> Something creamy. Or no, you know what? I could drink water. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. What? You know what? I might not lose though. And why? And while you eat them, you have to say disparaging things like, I'm a fat little boy. All right. I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, I'm a... But do I have to say... I don't want to say soy boy. I'm an oink... I'm not asking you to say that. <laughs> Good grief. And you have to say things like, I'm an oink oinker. I'm so fat. I love punishment. All right. All right. Let's say, get to it. You have it. to say weird Let's things like get that. To That's it. part of the punishment. I gotcha. Ooh, there's so many calories because I'm a fat fat. You know, I stuff gotcha. weird stuff like that. Yeah. You ready to do this? Yeah. All right. Yeah, this oh, is way better. We're going to need a knee. Yeah, we're going to need a knee. We're going to need a knee. Oh, you have hairy knees. We have, to, we have to touch, right? Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're starting? Yeah, that was one. Dude, come on. That was one. Really? You're going to yeah, take that? Yeah, I mean, that counts. We, we were already set up. Now come back. That's one point for me. <laughs> I got oh, you. Got that's, me, two, got that's, two, that's two. That's two. Okay. <laughs> Dude, you're not going to let me reset. Wait, wait, My wait, full wait, hands weren't even okay, over Okay, okay. That's two. That's two. See, but you can't couple. See how you you have to keep them straight. Okay. You have to keep okay. them straight. <laughs> no! That's three. That's three. That's three. That's You're, three. Fast. <laughs> You're fast. You're fast. You're fast. You're fast, dude. <laughs> That's, That's four. four. That's five. That's five. That's. Five. <laughs> That's fine! Never touch your That's fine! Dude, straight. Six. Ugh. That's six. Seven. <laughs> Eight. Can we up the points? No, 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 this is going so no, fast. What are you talking Can we up the points? No, no, no. You're about man. to shut me out. No, Dude, you have to, you have to, hold up, see this? You have to go okay. straight. No, come <laughs> well, on, okay. you're telling me, come on, dude. Eight. You should be, Eight. you should turn it over Eight. to me just for that one. We're what? talking. <laughs> dude, what the hell? It's a... Okay, eight. Okay. Are you ready? Okay, yes. Nine.
you know what? I won, but I want to let you have a turn. You need to get some paper. That's so kind of you. Oh, dude, you turn to the camera and say that again. That's so kind of you. Okay, it's your turn. Okay. Oh, wait, okay, so, All right. yeah. <laughs> you can't. I can't tickle you? I think you can. <laughs> Dude, that was harder than what I... Dude, I wasn't even setting up! Oh, now you know how it oh, feels. The... Uh, oh, hold up. Let me set up. Okay. No, I didn't. That wasn't a move. You can't get crazy. No? Woo! <laughs> double, baby! <laughs> Relax! Let me set up! Dude, that was a good one. That was a good one. Let me set up. Okay. That's three. That's three. Mm. I didn't. Two, three, four. God damn it. Give me a second. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh that was a good one. Oh my god! That was a oh, good right, one. Dude. Right, five, five. Yeah, yeah, okay. Six. Me. Seven. Eight. <laughs> oh, dog, dude, god damn it. I'm scared to touch your hands. Nine. How about we do this? What? So this is a tie. Because I, I, let's just, it's, let's, there's four? Yeah. Let's see two each. No. No. Are we going to do another round? Yeah. Oh, fuck. We both shut each other out. Come on. I mean, I, I, technically I won. I didn't have to do that. I could have just said here. You offered it up though. Okay, fuck. Okay, put your hands out. We're, we're going to ten now, right? No, this is the first one to five. Okay. It's tiebreaker. Okay. Oh, that no, was I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. That got you. That got, that got you. Good dude. job on that one. Good job. That was that was, that was freaking that slimy, dude. Was, that, that, was slick, that, was slick. Slick. that was freaking slimy. That was really slimy. No. Frick. Oh. That's three. Oh, oh. you move. That's four. <laughs> Come back. What do you mean? Come back. No. Rebuttal. No, that's, I won already. I won, dude. That's it. I won the tiebreaker. Dude, good match. <laughs> Let me grab the cupcakes. <laughs> Dude, you win most of the time. Let me win a couple. I don't want to eat freaking. What do you, this four is your cupcakes. idea. This I know. Your, I thought I was gonna up, win. Hold up. Smile for the camera. Oh my goodness. Oh, can I see it? Hey, which one? Hold up. Let me present it. Okay, hold up. Which one do you want? Do this one first. Okay. If you can't finish, I'll, uh, I'll eat one. I'll eat. I'll, I'll eat. I'll eat the fourth one if you can't finish it. No, I'm gonna do that. this punishment. You're gonna do it. You're gonna be up all night off sugar, man. No, I'm gonna crash. You want me? All right, so, okay, I have so to, I have to say, yeah, I have to look into this camera. Uh, yeah. And this is your idea. You I understand. With, this is your idea. Right. Okay, go All right. ahead. All right. Are you sure you don't want me to eat one? I'll eat no. one with you. No, that's not okay. the... Okay. I'm a little fat boy. I'm an oinker. I'm the fattest little boy in the world. Oink, oink. I'm a little piggy man. I have so many fat rolls. I have man tits. I'm the largest pussy in the world. <laughs> you don't have to say that. I do, it's a funny thing. Okay, okay. I'm a fat, fat, fat. Pudgy, pudgy, pudgy. Oh no, I'm so sorry. So many sweets. I'm an oink oink. You take me to the bank, and you take fat out of me. 
You loan it to your friends and you invest because you know that I'm the fattest fat fat. I'll eat one with you. Let me eat one with you. I'm your scissor brother. I'll eat one with you. I'll eat one with you, please. You gotta at least give me one. Give me one. Give me one. I'm telling you on the third one, I'll take one for the team. Okay, so the next one is the sprinkled chocolate. Yeah. All right, keep going with your uh, affirmations. <laughs> I'm probably the fattest piece of crap in the world. I love sweets, and so do my sweet, fat tapeworm that lives inside my body. Mmm. Yeah, you could kill it. Do you want me to eat one? Let me eat one. Three's enough. Let me eat one. I'm your scissor brother. Let me eat one. This is the glutton punishment. I know, but dude, you, you're not going to be able to sleep tonight. I'm telling you. You're not going to be able to sleep. Dude, you're going to have so much sugar in you? I come sugar. <laughs> dude, watch what you're saying. Watch what you're saying. I poop out full body fat. Okay. Do you have any ideas of um, things you'd like me to say? You, no, well, this is your punishment. I don't so know. you have to think of it. Okay. I don't want to insult you, man. This is your thing. I, I mean, what I want to do, because I'm your scissor brother, I'm I, would a, like, I would like to eat one cupcake with a, you at I'm the a, end. I'm a turd with legs. How about you do this? Mm. You finish that, and then I'll take one of them off your plate. Let me finish one. Let me finish one. Is that okay? I don't know. What do you mean? Dude, that's a lot of cupcakes, dude. A lot. It's up to you. I just wanted. I wanted to take. I wanted to do one too. You ate the worm for. You took the hit for me on the worm. I know. You took the hit for me on the worm. So, he 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 hooked me up with the worm. This is me um showing my gratefulness of you. This is my worm. You took. Because I ate the worm. You didn't have to eat the worm. Look okay. At, look at that camera. He didn't have to eat the worm, but this is so I owe him. Well, let me come in and say how fat you are. I'm a fat Buddha man. I'm so fat, fatter than um, uh, Jabba the Hutt's. Jabba the Hutt. The only way I can function is with sugar, because I'm a bad, I'm, I'm a bad, I'm a bad large man. <laughs> I'm so fat, I hide my food under my bed at night. I'm so fat, I hide my food in my skin folds and save them as seconds for later. I'm so fat that Ooh. pigs look at me in disgust because I'm fatter than them. I don't like this, mil this minty one. <laughs> oh, it's too much. It's too much. I'm so fat. I'm the fattest. <laughs> what, are we, what are we even doing? <laughs> You're right. When women go to the doctors and ask for butt injections, they say, where are you getting the samples from? And the doctor says, from the fattest little prince in the world, Jeremiah Watkins. <laughs> I'm so fat that the Michelin tire float Floaty balloon looks down on me when it's flying in the air. I really don't like this last one. I need this for mm -hmm. crumbs. Babe Pig in the City is my spirit animal. Are you having issues over there? Is it just the one? Why can't you swallow? I can always swallow. Because I'm a disgusting I'm little a, troll I'm of a, a disgusting boy. disgusting fat man. I'm fatter than... I'm fatter than Yoda. I'm fatter than... Jeff the Hutt. I already said that. I'm, I'm fatter than... Um, Slimer from Ghostbusters. Mm, that's a good one. Um, and I really enjoy, and I really enjoyed the uh, um your challenge. My hands hurt. Thanks for tuning in.
uh, go to youtube.com slash scissorbrooks for more content like this and consider supporting us on our Patreon at patreon.com slash scissorbrooks. Make sure you're emailing your suggestion ideas to scissorbrosspod at gmail.com. And consider checking out one of our live shows on the road because um, we're going to be in Irvine as well as Oxnard in February. February 3rd and February 6th, okay? We'll have all of those on our Instagrams, Jeremiah Watkins, mm-hmm. Kwangu, Q-U-A-N-G-O-U, on our link tree. Um, right. Jeremiah Stand Up on Social. Yeah, Jeremiah Stand Up on Social, Kwangu. Q-U-A-N-G-O-U on my social, the, and then uh, click on the link, and we'll have all the ticket information there. If you happen to be in those towns on in Oxnard or Irvine, definitely check us out, man, because oh. we're gonna we're gonna do a lot of crowd stuff, participation. Okay. Uh, Ontario Improv, Wednesday, March twenty third, mm-hmm. and San Jose Improv, April sixth, mm-hmm. Irvine. Irvine, too. And we'll be in Irvine. Well, well, you said that in February, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. February 3rd and 6th. Mm. All right. All right. I'm the fattest kid alive. I'm fat, too. I'm not the the gluttony punishment. Can I drink water now? Yeah, you can. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I guess we're not doing a closing song. Tune in next week. We'll have a song for you ready. YouTube.com slash Scissor Bros. We love you all. We love you. Thanks so much for being here. Scissor Brothers! Um, hello? Is anyone still there? It's your pal, Gerald. Just checking in. Hope you're still hanging out after that. What the fuck was that gluttony punishment, man? That gave me some weird vibes. You know, Gerald over here, you know, I I edit and I produce a lot of this podcast and that was even hard for me to fucking watch. Awkward, real strong creep vibes. Anywho, hope you guys are having a good week and um, not too much to do with me. I think I might run a 5k soon. Yeah, just trying to limber up for that. Heard that marathon winners get mad pussy in the animal kingdom, so, you know, just keep my options open. Anyway, if you haven't checked out the Patreon, there's a bunch of dope footage up there that we're adding every week, and uh, that's about it. Thanks for all the support, guys, and all the new subscribers. We hope you like this uh, weird family that you're a part of now. And we love you, and we'll see you next week. Bye! Craft macaroni.